Howdy, and welcome back to another video. In this one, the title should probably tell you what I'm working on, or the description below, because as of right now, I don't know. What I do know is I have taillights to install, a weird noise coming from, or weird behavior coming from the driver's side rear, and some other things. Those are the two main things on my list, but there's probably more. So, with that said, let's get to work and see what the hell's wrong with the 2003 Hyundai Tiburon. So, here we are. Wheels are off. Uh, one thing I found weird, I could have swore everything was tightened before, but on both sides, one, maybe two of the, the lug nuts had any resistance on the impact wrench. Everything else came off real easy. Hell, I had put the socket on one of the nuts just to make sure I had the right size, and it started coming loose. So, I'm not sure if that could play a part, but yeah, it just, you know, all seems remotely well. As you can tell, the sway bar bushing is still hunky dory. Got some spider webs, and that was silky strong ones. So, probably the one of many black widows that like to be around here. Now, let's go check the other side, which. I found out I'm probably going to need to buy a new rear caliper. So, as you can tell, it doesn't look great. I've sprayed it with some uh, silicone spray, liquid wrench, yada yada, just to try and break things up. Because it doesn't move so well. It's like, I don't know, very resistant. When I pull the e-brake up and then put it back down, I can t tap this thing back up a little, so I'm guessing it's kind of getting stuck. But as you can see, you know, end links I installed before still look good. Uh, I've got better movement out of this now compared to what it was earlier, which was just kind of stuck. So, uh, I can't find anything screaming out is wrong, as you can tell there also. Sway bar bushing is still fine. So I've been hearing noises from the rear. So next thing I'm probably going to do is maybe check the strut tops. Because if my wheels were loose, maybe my impact wrench just wasn't doing enough oomph. So maybe the bolt that goes through the top mount or the top hat, maybe it's not tight. I don't know. We will be back as I'm working on that stuff. The first thing we're going to do, well, not the first thing, but the next thing we're gonna do is replace these. These are in good shape, not throwing them away, just not using them. What they're gonna be replaced with is what would normally be qualified probably as an eBay special taillight. I'm guessing they're probably not the best quality. I don't know. They look pretty. So I'm going to install these. I'm going to guess probably in a year the surface is going to look rough. I'll probably be sanding it, clear coating it, whatever. But for now, I want to put these on. And even though this is just meant to be a rally car mostly for me, I still want to make it something I like seeing. So we're going to replace these. And we will be back with them installed. Hooray! Here we are. Taillights. I mean, you can tell the build quality difference. I mean, that's expected. And I just wanted to show off the cleanliness of the trunk area without all the stuff in the way. It's such a pity-ish that I'm going to do rally racing with this, hopefully. But yeah. I like the way the taillights work. And also, I was going to dig further into the car, but I realized when I replaced both end links, this one did not get tightened down all the way. So I jacked up the other side of the car, lifted up the wheel, 
got the sway bar to lift a bit to allow for me to fully tighten things. I'm guessing between that and the questionable uh, lug nuts, I still have no idea how the hell that happened. I'm gonna get wheels put back on, everything put back together, nuts put in properly, <laughs> and hopefully that'll be everything. I'll probably check the front also since I did not, I know I took an impact wrench, or at least I thought I did. Maybe it was just the one I used wasn't very good. So I'm gonna go through, tighten everything down, take it for a spin. Let's hope she's happy. Oh. Never mind. I still got one more thing to do before we dive into that. So I tried looking online for a way to fix my door panel. Turns out the way I'm going to fix my door panel is a new one. Uh, the one that I got used has this and I'm jealous because I kind of want that on the other door. I'll have to look and see if that's still in existence, but I doubt it. But here's why I need to replace it. This is separated. It has pulled apart. It is stiff, all that jazz. So I'm gonna take this panel off, put that panel on, keep the things like the plastics that are included there, keep them as spares just in case they ever break because I've seen some Tiburons and how the plastics wear. Anyway. I'll be back with that put on too and yada yada. And here we are, completed on a variety of tasks I felt would be suitable. New door panel in, and I think I learned something new because the stitches seem kind of tan. Over there, they're black. So, whatever. Worst case scenario, I could take a Sharpie and blacking it all in if I cared. It was actually pretty easy. The hardest part, as is with most cars, was uh, power window switch. Um, yeah, three screws on the side, two screws there, one screw there, pop this out, one, two screws, and then you, it's just pop clips the rest of the way. Pop clip it out. If you have the infinity, then, or if there's a cover here, I'm not sure on other cars, you put, pop that off too. That's just like a rubber metal or rubber plastic press fit. And that was it. Put some leather cleaner, leather conditioner. It's leather or pleather or fake leather, whatever. It is now good to go. Wheels back on, tail lights, and yeah, I'm guessing a couple of years or a year, I'm gonna have to clean those up. Well, yeah, she's good. And with that said, this video is over. Thank you for watching. If there's anything on Tiburons that you would like to see, even if it's just like, hey, I need to see how this looks, I'm putting things back together, I can try. But other than that, this car probably won't have another video unless something breaks or I actually get to start racing. So, have a good day. Bye-bye.